When fighting in urban areas, civilian harm must be reduced and even prevented. These are the rules of war. It is also the right thing to do from an ethical, moral, or religious perspective. If it is impossible to conduct operations in areas where there are fewer people present, then the duration, intensity, and area of fighting should be limited. Gathering information and planning carefully is crucial to prevent and reduce civilian harm. Civilians and civilian objects like medical facilities, religious sites, schools, and culturally important sites must be identified so they are not attacked. Infrastructure that supports vital services for civilians, such as water or electrical facilities, must also be protected. This information needs to be verified across several sources and continuously updated so it is reliable and accurate. Fighters need to understand that each type of weapon carries unexpected risks. Rounds from rifles and machine guns can ricochet or pass through or over a target. Blasts and fragments from explosive weapons cover large areas, so their use should be avoided in populated areas such as towns and cities. Remember, any harm caused to civilians and civilian objects by an attack cannot be greater than the expected military advantage. Military positions should not be set up or operations conducted around civilians and attacks should only happen at times when few civilians are nearby. Clear and simple warning of an attack, allowing people time to leave, is one way to reduce civilian harm. But do not presume that all civilians have left. Constantly be on the lookout for those still there. And if they don't leave, they must always be protected. Keep in mind that it may be necessary to pause or delay an operation to allow civilians to flee. Before firing, make sure to confirm each target is not a civilian and when in doubt, do not shoot. Always fire weapons accurately to avoid harming civilians, using single shots from rifles or short bursts from machine guns. Do not fire unnecessarily. Civilians, the wounded, and prisoners of war must be treated humanely and with respect and dignity. The wounded, including enemy fighters, must be given medical care. Humanitarian and medical workers must be able to do their work. Unexploded ordnance need to be cleared or marked. Rape and other forms of sexual violence is banned. Nobody can be taken hostage and civilian property must not be stolen or destroyed. Remember, harming civilians is punishable, condemned at home and across the world. It can lead to a loss of public support and wastes resources. Most importantly, Reducing or preventing civilian harm preserves a level of humanity during and after fighting.